Hi, it's Terry Ryder from Hot Spotting, and this is my regular weekly feature. Every Tuesday evening, Hot Spot of the Week. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite cities in Australia in terms of uh, property investment, which is Adelaide. Um, we've just today, in fact, published uh, the new edition of our uh, Top 5 Adelaide Hotspots report. And I'm going to talk about one of the locations that feature in that, just to give you a taste of what's in there. Um, Adelaide is one of those places that I talk about a lot and find it a little bit difficult to convince people about because a lot of people have a perception of Adelaide as being a fairly mediocre market, uh, a place that produces uh, not a great deal of growth, whether it be population or price growth. It's not necessarily true. Adelaide as a property market has had some significant growth spurts uh, over the last 10 or 20 years and I believe it's, it's poised to have another one. Uh, over the last, say, two years, at a time during which our two biggest cities, Melbourne and Sydney, have been trending down, Adelaide's just been keeping on, keeping on, as it very often does. It's a very, very steady market, one of the, one of the most consistent markets in capital city Australia. Sales volumes continue to be strong. And when you look uh, below the, the generalised data that media publishes about uh, capital cities, where they produce just one figure to describe the entire market. When you look behind that generalised figure, you find that there are a number of sub-markets that are outperforming and showing pretty good growth. And the local government area of Charles Sturt is one of those. Now, Charles Sturt is um, a municipality which uh, kind of starts right at the edge of the Adelaide CBD, right next to North Adelaide suburbs like uh, Brompton and Bowden are in Charles Sturt and they're neighbours immediate neighbours of North Adelaide and then it, the local government extends west and northwest from there right out to Henley Beach and heading north up to West Lakes and Semaphore Park. So it's quite a large uh, local government area extending from the CBD sort of 15 kilometres west and northwest from the CBD and um, it's got a, a pretty interesting underlying economy that offers uh, a mix of uh, residential, commercial and industrial land. It's, um, it's popular because it's close to the CBD, it's close to the beaches, some of the suburbs are beachside suburbs. It's pretty handy to the, the main Adelaide airport. Got plenty of shopping, got lots of recreational facilities. Um, just referring to um, <clears throat> the report that's on the Hotspotting website about this particular location uh, says this, this local government area has long been considered the sporting and entertainment hub of Adelaide with national basketball, soccer and football stadiums, three privately owned golf courses, an international rowing course, the River Torrens Linear Park, uh, at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre and a whole lot more. So yeah, it's got a lot to, um, to offer in terms of uh, sport and recreation, as well as uh, plenty of jobs nodes and some pretty fine residential areas, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, health is the biggest employer in that area. To, provides work for over 7,000 people. There are two major hospitals in this local government area, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and the Western Hospital. It's close to, as I uh, mentioned earlier, right up um, against the uh, CBD of Adelaide. It's um, an immediate neighbour of the city of uh, Charles Sturt, where we have uh, a couple of university campuses, uh, major hospital, uh, the, the newly built major hospital for Adelaide, uh, the University of Adelaide and the University of South Australia. Within the local government area, there's uh, Westfield Shopping Centre at West Lakes and also the Port Canal Shopping Centre. Um, and according to the City Council, 30% of South Australia's manufacturing businesses are located in these western suburbs. An example is uh, Electra Lux, which has a national distribution centre there and, uh, and some others. Um, so looking at the property market in the local government area of Charles Sturt, uh, it has quite a range of prices because there are some beachside suburbs which, uh, not surprisingly, are more expensive. And then you've got um, ranging right down to suburbs which have medium prices in the 400,000s, um, right up to Henley Beach South where the medium price is over 900,000. But I guess the mainstream suburbs like Finden, Flinders Park, 
seat in Simmerfall Park with median prices in the 500,000s. What really stands out for me about um, these suburbs is that many of them have had growth well in excess of that, keep referring to the generalised figure, the one figure that media likes to publish, the sort of figure that comes from sources like uh, Domain and CoreLogic, where they say uh, Adelaide house prices have risen just 1% or 2% in the last 12 months, but um, behind that generalised figure there are outperformers and the suburbs of this particular local government area are certainly in that category. Um, the median prices for Cheltenham and Henley Beach have risen 11% in the last 12 months. Henley Beach South is up 16%. And then we have a range of suburbs um, where uh, the median prices for houses have grown 5 and 6%, like Findon and Grange, West Lakes and Simpful Park. So well above that that, that low average figure that's uh, regularly published to describe the Adelaide market. It's always, I think, smart for investors to look behind those generalised figures because you find that there are outperformers and those are the markets that uh, uh, you need to look for. And our, uh, our new edition of Top 5 Adelaide Hotspots report um, tells you which ones to focus on in the Adelaide market, which um, I think shows a great deal of promise because the underlying economy is pretty solid and is going to get stronger for all sorts of reasons, including the, the $90 billion worth of naval contracts that are happening in Adelaide and also its evolving uh, status as the high-tech innovation capital of Australia. Lots of major businesses moving their headquarters to Adelaide for that reason. The other thing about um, the property market that stands out in this local government area of Charles Sturt is that the vacancy rates are pretty tight. That's a pretty common feature across Adelaide, actually. It does have very low vacancies. I think the average figure for Adelaide is not much above 1%. And in this local government area, the various postcodes... 1.2%, uh, 1.4%, 0.8%, 0.7%. They're all got very, very tight rental markets. And that's another encouraging factor uh, to be considered by property investors. Looking ahead to the future, there's a lot of kind of urban renewal, um, major projects happening in the local government area of Charles Sturt, Sturt rather, Bowden, that um, inner suburb, which is right next to North Adelaide, and close to the CBD of Adelaide. Um, it's got a major urban renewal project that's underway, um, which will over time create over 3,000 dwellings. And then we have um, the read of, that's a billion dollar project, incidentally. Um, um, then we've got the redevelopment of the old Amy Stadium, used to be known as Football Park, I think, at West Lakes, uh, where they're going to be doing about 1,500 or 1,600 homes in a redevelopment of that site. Plenty of other things happening of a commercial and industrial nature, which are always interesting because they create major jobs nodes and people like to live close to where they're working. Um, there's also a number of major transport infrastructure projects that impact on this area, the North-South Corridor, the Darling 10 upgrade project, which is a $620 million project that's underway, an upgrade of Adelaide Airport's underway, and there's also proposed a the Northwest Corridor light, light Rail project, which is, will be a five or six hundred million dollar project. So, plenty happening and coming up for that particular part of Adelaide. But generally speaking, I, I, as I often say, I think Adelaide's very underrated. Once uh, Australian investors wake up to what's happening in Adelaide and what will happen there, they will be a whole lot more interested. And um, because it has potential for great growth and it offers great value for money high level of affordability compared to the bigger cities. So that's the uh, city of Charles Sturt, a local government area in the western, um, heading west and northwest from the uh, CBD of Adelaide. Now just uh, to let you know that um, later tonight I'll be doing my monthly live Q&A. Um, normally I'd be doing it tomorrow night, but I figure that um, popular though the live Q&A is, we can't compete with the state of origin decider which is on tomorrow night i'm not going to try and compete with that so i'm going to do the live q a tonight uh, starting in just over an hour uh, 7 30 p.m in the eastern states um, so that will be your opportunity to ask your most burning questions about uh, real estate issues or locations that are of interest to you so please tune in in about an hour and 15 minutes, I'll be starting the live Q&A and you can uh, punch in your questions and 
I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, that's it for now. That's Hot Spot of the Week, and I'll be back in just over an hour to do the live Q&A. Bye for now.